good afternoon. I've just stopped from morning for a cuppa and just hope that there's a few of you around that can join me this afternoon. Um, interesting post on today's question about what makes you more productive and lists definitely seem to be the way to go. I know I work off lists. But I thought this week's discussion we would look at um, your crafting heritage is it something that runs in your family or is it something that you've done on your own? I know looking back at my family on my dad's side wasn't so much a craft inherited on that side so I think I got the reading from that side but I know my mum's grand great uh, uh, grandmother would be my great great grandmother her how was good in her embroidery and to love seeing that to go and visit. Apparently my grandmother, she died when my mum was 14 so I never got to know her but she used to knit and she used to have to wear a mask to knit because she suffered badly with her chest and asthma. So when I was young my mum taught me to knit, we used to sew together, embroidery we came along, you know, our days out would be so, uh, focus times around crafting shops. Uh, one of the best places we've ever been was uh, Chipping Camden in the Cotswolds. So if you're around there sometime, go in there. There's a shop full of cross stitch and embroidery and tapestries. Uh, we went in there in the morning, left at lunchtime when they closed, had our lunch and went back in the afternoon. And just up the road there was a lovely quilting shop. So my mum and I, our holidays would be spent together crafting, whether it was knitting or sewing or whatever. In her later years, just uh, in the years leading up to when she died, her focus was on cake decorating, which is something I've never got into. I think I felt that was her domain and left it to her. But I do have a folder with uh, pictures of the cakes that she did and of course she did my wedding cake and lace fit featured on there that she had made with icing. So through the years I've carried on learning, trying new things. Crafting is something that obviously because I work with it now uh, is a big part of my life but it's helped me get through some difficult times. And so it's something that I've carried on uh, doing, obviously trying to teach others with my children when they were little, right from when they could get their fingers in paint, they used to do different crafting things. So I'd be interested to know what started you along your creative path? Is it something that runs in the family or is it something that you picked up to relax to, to make a break from day-to-day -day life, whatever. Look forward to hearing and seeing your comments and uh, seeing where you started and where you've come from when you started. So I hope you enjoy your afternoon. It looks like it might brighten up here and we might finally get a bit of sunshine later on today. So uh, I'll speak to you all shortly.